Whether you're a professional detailer or a DIY guy that really likes to keep their interior clean, having tools that actually work and aren't necessarily a gimmick is very, very important. And it can be very hard to weed through everything that works and doesn't really work. But I'm gonna show you today a brand new product from the Rag Company that I'm extremely excited about. Now I've been using a similar product to this made by a company called Tornador, but this is basically a redesign, a refreshed, rethought through product that I am very excited to showcase to you. And that is the Ultra Air Blaster and Air Blaster Plus. This is an extremely cool product that I think all of you are going to want to have in your garage or in your detailing arsenal. So welcome back to another out of spec detailing video here from Clear Detailing in Northern Colorado. Let's jump into it. Now, before we jump into the new products by the Rag Company, let's talk about basically what they're going after and who they're trying to compete with. Because this product right here made by Tornator has basically been the industry standard for this exact product. Now, I'm gonna talk a lot about of their new design that the Rag Company has done on their Ultra Air Blaster and Air Blaster Plus to make this redesigned even better and more cost effective, which is really important to do. So. What do these tools exactly do? Well, essentially you're looking at what looks like somewhat of an air cannon or gun. Basically you hook up an air compressor to this side and you have this cone nozzle effect and this little tip in here is spraying the air around, but it is going in a circular motion. Very effective at cleaning larger surfaces. Now, typically I use this a lot for interiors. This is the main purpose of it. You can also use this for cleaning out pads or anything like that when you're polishing or compounding a vehicle. But this has really been an effective interior cleaning tool. Okay, so now what are you using this for? Well, you can use it for a multitude of things. When you get dust and all of those little nooks and crannies, this is super effective at getting in there and blowing all of that dust, all the dirt and grime, maybe in between buttons, areas like that. Very, very effective for working in those areas. What this is also amazing for is carpets and upholstery, whether you have cloth seats or of course carpet mats. Now, the big reason you're gonna use this instead of just using something like a vacuum, it's not either or. This is made to be used in tandem with a vacuum. I'll give you a full demonstration using the new air blasters over here from the rag company. But essentially what this does is agitates all the dirt and blows it out. So if you're thinking about carpets, you go in there, vacuum it, maybe you get 50% of the dirt, the sand, all that nastiness that is sitting really deep in the piles. What this does, after you give it a good quick vacuum, come in there, blow it out, it now basically puts it into the air, getting it out of the carpets. A lot of the times people really struggle with cleaning upholstery because they're not getting the dirt out of it. So essentially you're just scrubbing dirt in because the vacuum's not taking it out. That's why this is such an effective tool. Now, the other thing this is absolutely incredible for is cleaning out dog hair. Dog hair, there are about 70,000 different brushes, very tedious to get out. I have two golden retrievers. We've got my Volkswagen ID4. I'm gonna show you how amazing these tools work and how effective they are for releasing dog hair and getting it out of carpets because dog hairs essentially get woven into the carpets. You have to use tons and tons of brushes, lots of vacuuming, lots of time, very annoying to deal with. So a product like this is really, really cool. Now, like I said before, the Rag Company Ultra Air Blaster is not necessarily a new product. It's an improved version of this. And I'm gonna talk a lot about what I really like about the new improved product, maybe things that they can work on, but I really think this is gonna replace the Tornator. One of the big things that's gonna replace is not only maintenance on these particular tools, but the overall cost. These are substantially cheaper, and in my opinion, just as nice, if not even better. So we also have a tool like this. This is actually not a Tornator brand. This is a cheap Amazon knockoff one. I don't really use a lot of these for interior cleaning. Every so often I will. Now, I got basically two of these for I think 60 bucks. Now, Tornator's version that looks very similar to this, nearly identical, runs about 150 to 200 dollars per one of these. I use multiple of them so that you can have different solutions in here. We'll talk about this where you would use this, but this has been something that I like, haven't really used all that much. Basically, 
didn't feel the need to pay the full 200 bucks for the Tornado version that I don't really use. The nice thing is the rag company has a brand new product that's even better than this. And I think that's even better than the Tornado version, basically at a third to a quarter of the cost with some really, really cool features. So next, I think let's talk about pricing here. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and show you what all comes in the Ultra Air Blaster kit. As you may see back here, I have quite a lot of dog hair. That's why these tools are gonna to be perfect to use on our personal Volkswagen ID4. Our two golden retrievers make an absolute mess and I really wanna show you kind of a really nasty vehicle that hasn't had too much love in about the past month and how quickly it can get dirty and how to simply clean it using these tools. So let's quickly talk price on the Ultra Air Blaster. So this retails for $41.99, which is extremely cheap from what I've actually seen. And I'm really, really impressed once I show you inside of what it comes with, how nicely everything's made. And again, the improvements made on the Tornado. So let's run through the price of the Tornado. So it's $62 retail. Now this is for the 014 version here. And let me just explain something that you will definitely need to get almost on day one. So with the Tornadoes, there is a very different design compared to this. We'll talk a little bit about it once I unbox this. But essentially what I want you to understand is this piece rotates here along the edge of the cone. Now these are made of very cheap plastic. You can actually see this one is warped because the threads don't sit in there properly as I can move this around because they use very cheap plastic on there. So I typically recommend if you're gonna get one of these tools to get this. This is their upgraded cone with reinforced stainless steel, a lot nicer made, but you are adding another $25 to that. So you're basically into one of these tools for 87 bucks, rounded up to about $90. Whereas this, $42.99. And the big improvement here is you are not using a tool that basically rubs on here. These are wearable, so you do have to replace these over time. And again, these are all kind of cheap inside of here. This is just a cheap piece of rubber. These are all little weights on here, but you can see they actually rub against there when dirt and sand and all that nastiness is getting inside of it. And it can really destroy these quickly. If you're doing a lot of interior details, you can run through these every week, two week, maybe a month, depending on the volume of your shop. So it doesn't get very cost effective when you do that. So opening up the Ultra Air Blaster here, really nice packaging and immediately greeted with a very nice looking premium tool here. Love the matte black on it. Very heavy weighting here. We already have the fittings pre-installed. I'm gonna have to change those actually for my setup. I use a high flow setup um, to decrease the pressure, but get slight more airflow. Now, you get two nozzle tips here, which I really, really like. This one's really cool because you basically have a very soft bristle brush here. Fantastic for using on softer touch point areas like buttons, um, not necessarily screens, but those areas where you're trying to get dirt out of little cracks and crevices this will be extremely effective. So love the weighting here. These cones basically look to me almost like they're 3D printed, but whatever they've done here, very high quality pieces and wow, very heavy weighting. The threads are a lot thicker on this, but the most important thing of this is the design in here. So basically this is on a ball bearing and you'll notice it actually does not touch the walls. So these are not gonna be a wearable item. Now, is that gonna work just as effective as these? Well, we're definitely gonna put it to the test and see how it does. But I think this is a much improved design and something that you're not gonna have to keep spending money on a tool to make effective. So let me just screw this off here again. This is way, way, way nicer how this actuation comes off feels a lot more sturdy, a lot more premium. You can see how much thicker the threads are on here as I maybe get this off quickly here. So look at the difference between these two tools back here. Look how little these threads are here. You've got a cheap plastic washer, very tiny threads, huge thick threads, all metal in here, very nice rubber gasket, hugely improved design here. Really, really like this. And again, this is a wearable area. You have to change these out every so often as the weights basically wear down, the tool get 
basically out of whack and doesn't really work as effectively. This is on a nice ball bearing tube here, and this is all made out of metal, the whole thing. So very, very impressive there. Immediately, just off the bat, this feels like the more expensive item that is half the price as the Tornator. So huge, huge improvements here. Very anxious to see how it works. So now that we've talked about the Ultra Air Blaster, let's move to the Plus. Now this is a lot different tool here, and let me explain. So this is actually essentially basically a Tornator Black. Now this retails for $205. Now this is of course not the Tornator version. Told you before, this was a cheaper Amazon alternative. I believe I paid maybe 40, 50, 60 bucks for this. I can't exactly remember, but this basically works identical to a Tornator Black. I've used them before. Haven't really found a huge difference between the cheaper Amazon alternative and the more expensive, nearly $205 solution. So here basically what you use this product for is you put typically carpet cleaner in here to clean up carpets. Maybe if you don't have an extractor, this is a great DIY product for you at home that doesn't want to spend $1,500, $2,000 on extractor. I actually don't have an extractor here at the shop because I don't really do that many interiors that need extraction. I typically send cars other places. I don't really like to deal with it, to be honest, but this is so effective at cleaning up carpets in the summertime or carpets, you know, areas like this. If your dogs have been drooling all over it or whatever the case may be, very, very effective. Now moving here to the Ultra Air Blaster. The price on this blew my mind, $54.99 retail. So literally a quarter of the price of the Tornator Black. Really, really impressive stuff here. So let's get this open and look at what we've got here in the box. So definitely, I'm impressed because this being $42 and this being $52, you can basically almost get both of these for the price of one of the regular Tornadoes. So very, very impressive stuff there. Again, beautiful packaging here and love the tool here. So already we've got really cool stuff going on. So not only do we have our solution here to where you can dial it down a little bit or go full strength, but you also have an air, um, basically regulator here to where you can turn down the air a little bit if you don't want as high pressure and really get your solution mixed in. This is basically just full air, turn on or off. Doesn't really work as good. Now you can regulate this slightly, but um, yeah, I find it doesn't work as great. Probably the Tornator Black does work perfectly though. So really cool stuff here. Again, utilizing the same thing here to where it's actually not touching the walls. You'll notice on this, again, pretend this is the Tornator Black, gets on the walls. You can see all this dirt in here just sits there. You're basically scrubbing away that plastic bit. Again, this is one of those areas you will have to replace those over time. Now this, completely different story not touching the walls here, all made of very, very, very strong plastic here. And we have the operation that is actually not touching the walls. So you can see inside here, this one's slightly different. This has this little white tube in here. Essentially what that does is picks up the solution into here and distributes it. I'm gonna show you how this works later on, but massively, massively improved design here. Also, this is an extremely high quality um, basically canister at the bottom here, very rigid. Um, I really like the tapered design at the bottom because if you're filling this up, it's not gonna tip over. I am hoping that it sits just as nice as this one does. I do say one thing that I really wish they would work on with these though, and I would maybe say the rag company should improve this, is have this air nozzle basically come out this way more at a 90 degree angle. Because once you get this on here, you can't really set this down with your air compressor being at the bottom. It always falls over, really frustrating to use. So I would say a little critique there. I think they should work on that. Maybe make this at a 45 degree angle or something better, but really, really high quality blown away with how this looks. So very impressive stuff here. The price is fantastic. The quality of the materials they're using is fantastic. But I think most importantly than anything, let's test out how these actually work. So we're gonna do a quick little demonstration here and talk about where this product works. Now, typically what I would recommend, this is only about a month with two golden retrievers in here, absolutely disgusting. We're gonna be cleaning all this up, but this is a perfect area. So we have very 
short nap carpet here. And if you come in here and try and vacuum all this, you'll be shocked at how long it takes to get all of this dog hair out. Typically you have to come in here with a little brush to agitate, to kind of pull out all those dog hairs. So it may be loud here, but I'm going to do basically 50-50 here of vacuuming this quickly, as quickly as I can to see how much hair I can get off versus what the air blaster is going to actually look like. So this is a perfect example of how much more effective and how quickly you can clean areas like this with dog hair. We've also got a lot of dirt in here as well. You can see basically it blew all that out of the carpet. So the vacuum is not really effective at picking up those small particles or even hair. So I would typically have to come in here, like I said, with a brush and get that out. Now we didn't get every single piece of hair in here and that's not really what this is meant to do. It will get 90% of it. We may have to come back in here with a brush quickly and then blast it, but the time savings is is incredible and the effective clean makes so much more sense. Really, really impressive stuff here. Very, very happy with how this air blaster is working. Again, very similar to how the Tornado works. Now, one thing I really like, I drop this on the ground. This is typically how I work sometimes is like you're quickly switching tools, drop something on the ground, and this did not move one bit. Now, other areas, this is effective at cleaning. So look in here, we've got a bunch of little dirt particles. We've got dog hair all down here. Very challenging to vacuum. Let me just quickly clean this up. What a massive difference this makes. Like it is so much easier than coming in here, brushing all of this out or trying to vacuum all this. The vacuum can actually scratch areas like this. So it is very, very effective. Areas like this, you can definitely use it when you get perforated seats and you've got little crumbs and things in here. Just come in here. Boom, nice and tidy. So that's why I love this tool. These work so fantastically well. Areas here like on air vents, instead of again, scrubbing or trying to vacuum. So incredibly effective. And again, here, we are not using the walls of this. You can see, yes, it does kind of throw up a bunch of crap everywhere, if you will, all of the leaves, all the dog hair. So typically what I recommend doing with these is quickly going in, vacuuming as much of the big particles you can and kind of getting that out. Now also another big recommendation for using something like the Ultra Air Blaster, wear safety glasses. I cannot tell you how many rocks are in areas like this of your carpet and they basically can fly up into your eyes. So I would definitely wear eye protection with this. Trust me, I should know on this because I've done that way too many times, but very, very, very effective tool here. Can't believe how nicely this works. I like the actuation on this and it feels a heck of a lot better in all honesty than the Tornado. So really, really impressive stuff here. Now I'm gonna get some other areas cleaned up in here and I'll give you a quick demonstration on how the liquid, the Ultra Air Blaster Plus actually works once we get this interior tidied up a bit more.
Just spent some time here cleaning up the interior. So I just did a really quick vacuum, just pick up all of the big crud and dirt and grime. Then I grabbed the Rag Company Ultra Air Blaster, not the Plus. And you can see lifted nearly all of that dirt out. Super, super effective. So let's quickly talk about this tool, the Air Blaster Plus. Now, as I said, we have some controls over here, so you can set it to zero or max. I'll show you exactly how that works once we get going here. And then you have basically your dilution. So full off and full on. Basically, this works the exact same way, except you get a little bit of chemical in there. So I have PNS Terminator in here. This is a carpet cleaner, part of a three-step system. Ideally for myself, I would like to have three of these, so it'd be about you know, 180 bucks. So I can buy three of these basically for the price of one Tornado Black. So I think that's really, really cost effective. Very, very happy so far. So let's just try this on zero and see what it does. So you can see we have our air coming out of there. Let's put this on full max now. And you can see this is basically blasting all of your chemical out of the tip of that nozzle. The really nice thing is when you get in here on carpets, it really helps get stains and things like that. Now this is on black carpet, of course, not that dirty up here necessarily. I'll show you a little bit on that gray canvas liner in the back, but let me just show you. So if we turn this all the way off, nothing coming out, and then you can adjust this as necessary. A Little bit more juice there. And that's full blast. So let me just show you how you would come in here and use this. So say you had a big stain here, or you're just doing a general deep clean of your interior. You can see very, very effective at getting cleaner into the area that you're wanting. Again, one of my biggest gripes with this, and this is gripes with pretty much all of these, the Tornado as well, is you can't set this thing down on the ground. So I kind of have to put it here. Otherwise you have this huge cable and it just kind of falls over. So here on the ground, I can't set this thing down whatsoever. It just wants a tip. I think that's a little bit of an issue. Um, I'm gonna work on some solutions maybe to get a little 90 degree here to where I can fix that. Again, I did um, actually switch these out for high flows. This one does come with it. It was in the box as well for your quarter inch NPT there. So all good there. This thing is phenomenal. Very, very happy with it. Again, not tearing up the nose cone in here. You can see it stays nice and clean in there, which is very much unlike what the Tornado does where you're basically blowing dirt back into the areas because it's scraping against the wall. So very, very happy. Lastly, let's take this thing in the back and show you what it does on the gray. So I haven't spent a ton of time back here, but I wanna show you on maybe some spots here on what this actually does. So getting a good amount of solution in there. Now we can go in there, kind of agitate it, wipe it dry, and those stains are gonna come out super, super simple. Again, all really matters on what kind of chemicals you're using in here, but such an effective cleaner. I really, really like this thing, and I'm gonna be playing around with it a heck of a lot more. So final thoughts on the Rag Company Ultra Air Blaster. Completely blown away with these tools. And in all honesty, the Tornadoes are probably just gonna get thrown away here at the shop. These things are gonna be the new gold standard. Like I said, I'm likely gonna get one or two more of these, probably get another one of these for blowing out pads. Definitely don't wanna have one for, you know, interiors and blowing out pads, two different very circumstances. But again, blew out 90% of the car and this cone is completely untouched really like to see that. So we're not having to replace these cheap plastic bits all the time. Very, very, very impressed here. The price is great. The quality of the tools is phenomenal, even better than some of the industry standards. I think they hit a home run with these here. I did need to mention, I actually purchased these with my own money. This is not sponsored by Rag Company whatsoever. I am definitely an ambassador of their product, if you will. I use a ton of Rag Company towels and now tools. I'm very, very, very impressed with this. So I'll leave a link in the description below to both of these products. Highly recommend you pick them up, whether you're a pro detailer or a DIY guy. 
a like. Thank you guys so much for watching another out of spec detailing video. We'll see you in the next one very, very soon. Bye-bye.